Thanks for having me all here today, everyone. I just want to start off by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land in which we all live, work, and sleep on, that we all you know, occupy at the moment. The people of the Kulin Nation, traditional owners of this land. Australia itself is yet another imperialist colonial occupation around the world, another Western power. Here in Australia, that is something that we have to really contend with, both as First Nations people as well as the general proletariat, the general working class. Here in Australia, we provide so much arms, resources and weaponry to colonial occupations right across the world. Shame. Including Israel and their occupation of Palestine. Shame. You know, five hours up the road from here in Benalla, there's a weapons factory where they make weapons that they export over to Israel to murder innocent civilians over there. Shame. They come from Australia, five hours up the fucking road. Half hour this way in the city, we've got Albert. Shame. Albert, however you pronounce it. Another weapons manufacturer. Shame. Working hand in hand with Australia's own structures like RMIT. Shame. One thing we're trying to do in the BPU right now is we're trying to put pressure on these organisations that exist in Australia that are complicit and enabling the occupation of Palestine. Part of the way we want to do that is get people to put pressure on their unions, get unions to strike, get unions to withdraw their labour from providing arms and resources to Israel. So I encourage everyone, don't want to like promote myself here. I encourage everyone though, start out the Black People's Union's Instagram page. You can find the link on there for, we've got a bit of a like um, a statement going around. It's an open statement, it's not by the Black People's Union, it's just an autonomous statement. Um, we want people to sign on, try and put pressure on the unions, try and put pressure on these organisations to withdraw their complicity. Because here in Australia, like we're completely complicit in it. We're a major benefactor of it. It's a major shame. It's, it's disgusting. But of course it is. Because Australia itself is a colonial occupation. Of course they're held by the colonial occupations. <laughs> Until we rid the world of the West, we're going to keep having to fight these same fights right across the globe. That is our enemy. We all share one enemy here. And that is Western imperialism. Power to the people! Power to the people! Power to the people. One struggle, one fight. Another thing that I want everybody to go home and do is to go home, don't be complacent in your own circles. If you've got friends, you've got family, you've got colleagues that are out there, you know, trying to, even if they're not pro-Israel, even if they're out there taking some shitty liberal approach of, you know, both sides are just as bad. We all know that's bullshit. Bullshit! <laughs> Now's not the time for Western chauvinism. And all these people need to fall in line behind those who are actually leading the resistance. All these people need to stop running their mouths with their crap because ultimately it's that crap that enables this. It's that crap that changes and desensitizes people's psyche and people's mentality around this. It's that crap that allows politicians in so-called in our name to go out and to condemn Palestine, to condemn resistance fighters, to arm Israel and to support Israel. Power never concedes anything by itself. The only way power ever concedes is demands from grassroots people. The only way power will ever concede anything, the only way the people can take back the power is by getting organised. Through solidarity. Through actually getting out there, hitting the streets. Don't just rock up the protests and rallies. They're great. They get attention. Don't get me wrong. What material impact do they have? We need to be having a material impact on the war machine. That is the West. <laughs> so yeah, so... Definitely encourage people to try and think outside the box, how you can actually change the material circumstances here in Australia, how you can actually impact those supply lines going back to Israel. Because, you know, it's, there's still going to be plenty of other supply lines out there, don't get me wrong. But if we can keep hitting them one at a time, one at a time, keep taking them out, taking them out, hopefully we can starve Israel of their resources. At the end of the Free Palestine. At the end of the day, Israel has no right to exist. Palestine has every right to resist by any means necessary.
I want to finish off with a chant we've got in the Black Peoples Union. It's very applicable to the Palestinian situation as well. It goes, land back, liberation, and colonial occupation. And colonial occupation, land back, liberation, and colonial occupation. Thanks for having me, everyone. All power to the people.